Okay, well, I'm gonna save again, because I keep on highlighting over that other thing, and I feel like I'm gonna die. Something keeps on happening. I keep on activating my taskbar somehow. I sh could have just slept. Okay, well. Someone just said they're gonna find me eventually. I've got something for you got something for me? For me, really? Really, asshole? Oh, that was a terrible mistake. Well, I apologize for calling you that. I realized that was not a very nice word to call you. Ow! Why'd you hit me in the head with that? Dickhead? God damn. Did he die fabulously? He did. Fabulous. Alright, welcome to level 4. I'm going to raise my sneak to 30, my speech to 40, my guns to 34. Perfect. Actually, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Uh, educated, you gain two more skill points every time you advance. I'll take it. Done. You're missing a head. And... Um, am I... A bit over encumbered? Yeah, a bit over encumbered. So, let's just fix that really quickly. With my weapons. <laughs> Oop. So shotgun. This, ty uh, this, this shotgun's really, really, really working for me. I enjoy it a lot. Alright, drop that pistol. Repair that pistol. Repair my revolvers. Alright. La la la. Nothing in there. I already got everything I need over there. Um. Alright. Now we're just gonna move down here. And then. I guess we're done with this place, aren't we? Well, that was. Th I have never had that much fun going through that area in my entire life. Is there anything else I can take? I don't think so. So. I know there's a door here, but you need a hard lock pick, right? Or, yeah, you need 75, right? So I can't get in there yet. Whatever. Welcome to back to Prim. Alright, um... What are the... What are the guys... Uh... What are the this say? is most unusual. The Powder Gangers have visitors today. I guess there's a first for everything. Now those tough-looking fellows must be great cons. I recognize those funny helmets and leather vests from stories I've heard. So what are they doing with that dapper gentleman who wears a checked suit? I wouldn't mind a suit like that. They're talking about heading south toward Nipton, then west to Novak where they'll meet up with someone. I guess I could track them if I needed to, but the town of Prim needs me here to serve and protect. Oh my, I think I've been spotted. Oh, well, I think you have been spotted. Alright, so, you know what, I think we're gonna end here, because that was a very long, very long recording, I think. Um, I don't think I've actually recorded that much and had that much fun with it in a very long time. So, anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I guess, stop it here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. As you guys know, it means the world to me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day if you did. Uh, either way, I hope you, even if you didn't enjoy it, I still hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. I hope everything goes amazingly, and as always, my friends, you know, again, thanks for watching, and, uh, well, um, well, ciao. Alright, so, just occurred to me really quickly, I didn't actually realize at first, but I was recording in half size, so I don't know how the audio, or not the audio, I don't know how the actual video was going to look, because it was recording in half size, which basically just means that I was recording about half the size of what normal 1280 by 720 looks like, which, if you do the math, it's just half of each number. So anyways, I'm terrible at math. Hi, I'm Steven, you should have already known that if you've... Well, I guess I've never actually explained that before. But anyways, I'm bad at math. I don't know what the hell the numbers are. But the problem is, it may look a little bit fuzzy, but it was also keeping my frames perfect. So I put it back on full size. I only realized that I was only, um... I, I realized very quickly that my frames... Uh, or not my frames. The space. I was recording with much better space, and I want to keep recording at least for a little bit. I think it was 40 minutes in total I ended up recording for, so... Um, let, let's just keep that going. Alright. Let's see hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Um, you know what? I... I... I have some questions about Prim. What? Do you know... Uh, what's at the... What happened to Prim? Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. It started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First, there was just a few thugs rolling through town, but then they got organized. Now they call themselves Powder Gangsters or something. 
and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. They were dickheads, aren't they? A little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. What assholes? All right, well, I have some more questions. Um, uh, what's, uh, you know what, I'd like to just come by. So I gotta talk to you again, I think. Can I tell him that his, that his deputy's dead? That was my mistake. Hey, youngster. Um, yeah, your deputy died in Bison Steve. Well, I guess you're gonna have to find us a new lawman. I suggest talking to those NCR troopers across the bridge. I also overheard the Potter gangsters talking about some ex-sheriff on lockdown there. Alright, well, you know what? Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go. See you later. Bye. Alright, so, b -b -b what happened is there was a lawman, or there was the guy that was the deputy of the sheriff, the, the guy that owned the town, um, but he was inside that place, and what ended up happening was he was captured, and as you saw during the last episode, one of those goddamn dickheads set the poor man on fire, and I threw dynamite at him, and he couldn't move because he was in fucking hands were tied together. He couldn't move. He died as a result, lost his leg. So now, that asshole in the goddamn casino is saying, Hey, man, it's, 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 it's your fault. Now you gotta find it. He's, he's making us go find a new lawman for it. This, this shitty town. So, whatever. We have to go do it because that's, that's the way video games work. Um, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna talk to the guy that owns the, the thing of Bubber. Um, the captain of sorts that is here. And we're gonna see what we can do about a new lawman. Does he want to do it or does he know anybody or what's going on, right? So, hi, you. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? My business, Prim is in dire, is in need, dire need of some real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gang. You guys could be suck. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. Whatever. You know what? What do you, what do you need to take over protecting the town? What we need more than anything is bodies. Fair enough. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. All right. Night at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Uh, you know what? I'll do that, so goodbye, sir. All right, bye bye. Oh. What happens now we have to travel a very... To me, it's a very long, long, long walk because I... To me, walking in general is, it takes a long time. And I can't make it over the wall. So now we're going to go make a bit of a walk up the hill. We're going to see some nice... Nice going ons. I'm gonna get the CD to stop jabbing me in my arm. Give me a minute. I'm not talking. Oh, hold on. I'm being texted. Uh, right. I got to reply to him because um, that's that's Exibu. Um, he was. He doesn't know if I want to talk right now or not, and I want to record. So I'm gonna just auto walk, half paying attention. I'm gonna tell him I'm still recording. Sent. I. Alright, now I'm going to uh, head over here. I'm gonna start walking. There's a powder gang right there, isn't there? Are you a powder? Oh, you're a feral ghoul, Romer. Bit different than a powder ganger. I can't hit you, can I? Uh, can I vats you? You are one disgusting creature. Alright. We're kind of hitting him. Alright. So. Die! Uh oh. Uh oh. Die! Uh oh. Ow. Alright. So. I lost a bit of health there. That clearly wasn't the most uh, strategic idea. But. You do, you do. Shotgun, pistol, hunting rifle. This is supposed to be a really good hunting rifle. I just can't hit things for the life of me because I have a terrible shot. Also, is there another one right there? Or am I going crazy? That might be a cactus. Okay, that might be a cactus. My eyesight's getting a little bit worse for wear. Uh, anyways, our goal now is to go up there to where those two statues are at. Um, when I walked through previously, I almost died because I was getting chased by... But <laughs>